Did you know that you can get foot drop from just crossing your legs? Yesterday I presented a case of a 52 year old female who came to my office complaining of left leg pain. She's had this pain for about two years since she's fell off the bed of a truck and landed on her knee. The pain is primarily in the anterior part of her shin as well as the top of her foot and she's noticed that she's weak and has a slight foot drop. I mentioned on physical examination that she had a slight foot drop as well as weakness and eversion of her foot or turning her foot to the side. I tricked you with this MRI and her surgeon got tricked as well because he diagnosed her with foraminal stenosis at L5-S1 and performed a foraminotomy or a clean out procedure around her L5 nerve root and it did not help her pain. She was misdiagnosed and because of that, she had a failed back surgery. She's still weak and she still has that pain. So what's the diagnosis? She has peroneal neuropathy. Wait, I thought the perineum was down there. It's actually peroneal and it's the nerve that lies over the fibular head on the side of your knee. So if the nerve sustains some kind of injury, you can actually get pain, numbness, or even weakness in that distribution of the nerve. And that can cause foot drop. Here are some of the most common reasons that you can sustain damage to the nerve, such as trauma to the knee like in our patient, a fracture of the fibular head, a cast that's too tight, or crossing your legs. And ladies or men, if you like to wear high boots, it can also cause damage to the peroneal nerve. And I've even seen it as a complication from positioning during surgery. That's why it's so important while a patient is asleep that you properly pad their knee. So how has she gone two years with the wrong diagnosis? She needs a nerve conduction test. And when we ordered that, that confirmed the diagnosis of peroneal neuropathy. And it's not treated with back surgery. We can actually go in and decompress the nerve itself and fix the problem. We can make a small little incision over the side of the knee and dissect down to the nerve and it's really superficial. We can remove any of the compressive pathology which is typically a fascial band or some type of scar tissue over that nerve. Think of it like a carpal tunnel release, but on the knee. So we did this quick 30 minute outpatient surgery. She went home the same day and her pain was gone almost immediately. It took about three months for her weakness to improve, but she got all of that function back. And here's a quick little tip as to how you can differentiate between the two is if you can invert the foot, but not evert the foot, it's peroneal nerve. And if you can't do either, it's probably L5. That's why it's so important to do a good physical examination. And on our exam with her, she had preserved inversion, but weak eversion, and that sealed the diagnosis. Another case of patient-focused and compassionate care. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case.